permanent hair dye. Whether it's from a box, a salon, a Walmart, or a Whole Foods, it's the same chemical process. To talk about what that process is, I've invited friend and hair color chemist Valerie Patton to help break it all down. There are three chemical processes that happen every time you permanently dye hair. The first obstacle is getting through the hair shaft. It has a protective outer covering called the cuticle. To do this, you need an alkalizing agent. These are ingredients like ammonia and MEA. They are strong alkalizers with a pH of 10 to 11. They work by forcing the cuticle open to expose eumelanin and pheomelanin, which make up your hair's natural color. So now that the cuticle is open, how do we remove the hair's natural color so you can get a rockin' new shade? Easy. We use an oxidative agent like hydrogen peroxide. That's developer, right? Right. And its first function is to break down your hair's natural color. So the pigment is still there, but it loses the ability to absorb or reflect light, which is the physics of how we see color. Now at this point, your hair hardly has any color. And the interesting thing is, neither does the dye. That's right. Hydrogen peroxide is also responsible for kickstarting the oxidative hair dye process. In hair dyes, there are two separate components, primary and secondary dyes. Examples of primary dyes are p-phenylenediamine, paraminophenol. Examples of secondary dyes are resorcinol, metaminophenol, and 4-amino-2-hydroxytoluene. The list goes on. Alone, the dyes have no color, but when linked with oxygen from hydrogen peroxide, they produce beautiful colors like red, green, violet, or blue. To help demonstrate the hair dye process, we brought in a special guest. Introducing Charlize. <laughs> Let's dye your hair. I'm way ahead of you. We have our hydrogen peroxide developer, mixing bowls, mixing brushes, and purple gloves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna leave this on for about 20 more minutes until we get the desired shade. To terminate the chemical reaction, what do we do, Valerie? Well, we have to wash it out, and generally we use a slightly acidic shampoo or conditioner to close the cuticle. And though it closes the cuticle most of the way, it never returns to its normal state, which is why permanent hair dye generally leaves your hair a little more fragile. All right, let's wash her out. So there it is, the entire chemical process at work. Did you learn anything from this, Charlize? If you learned something from this video, share it with a friend. And if you want to know more about the science behind beauty, subscribe to Miss Beauty Files. And be sure to follow my gal Val on Twitter.